Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video we will be talking about FTP, how to install file transfer protocol in Ubuntu. So first of all in Ubuntu in order to install it you need to call the terminal. So in order to call the terminal you need to either right click and open in terminal or hit ctrl alt from the keyboard or you can hit the star key and type terminal in there. Once the terminal appears in there, you need to call the administrative privilege, which is called sudo, which sudo stands for super user do, which allow you to run as an administrator. Okay, sudo advanced packaging tool, get install, very, very, very secure file transfer protocol with yes to all dialog, put your password and let it run. This might take a little bit longer or less, it depends how fast is your machine at all, but usually it doesn't supposed to take that much of a time. So let's wait for the installation and then we are coming back. Okay, as you can see the installation is successful, so we can go to type sudo systemctl uh, status vsftpd and as you can see it's active and running. So our server is up and running. Okay, now let's go to change directory. Change directory is a command which allows you to go from a location to another one to SRV FTP and this is the location by default of FTP. Now I can create some files in there but before let change some settings. I want to change the FTP configuration to activate my FTP. So sudo nano, nano is a text editor, it will allow you to edit the text inside of it sudo nano etc vsftpd config and as you can see in here we have all the configuration file of file transfer protocol first of all i want to enable anonymous which means everyone can be able to access the file transfer protocol and the second i want everyone to be able to upload file which means to write so as you can see in here this is with a different color so if you delete the comment in front of it it will appear with the regular color now in order to save i cannot use ctrl s as in windows so i need to hit ctrl x like as you see here ctrl x would you like to save this y from yes and what will be the name so just hit enter sudo systemctl restart vsftpd sudo systemctl status vsftpd and it's still up and running okay now let's go to firefox and in firefox we can type the localhost ftp column double forward slash localhost and the ftp should appear in here now because in the ftp folder i don't have any files documents whatsoever software I cannot see anything, but I can create some. sudo create directory call whatever. Okay, if I refresh the website, as you can see, it will appear in here. Or sudo touch, touch is, uh, will allow you to create some files. sudo touch admin.txt, sudo text editor admin.txt, administrator was here, control X, then Y, then enter. So if you hit F5, you can see we have a file in here and you can see it in here. I have it and it's opening without any kind of problem. Okay, for the last part, I can install something called FileZilla. sudo app get install FileZilla with dash Y. FileZilla is a software which allow you to transfer file from A to B uh, graphically. So let's wait for the installation and then we can continue on uh, another thing is if config if config it will show the ip address so i can copy the ip address and i can type it in here as well and the ip address will match the same okay so i have installed filezilla let's type filezilla in here and let's wait to open it might take some time until it opens Okay, so FileZilla is up and running. Now, I can copy the IP address of my machine. I can paste it in there, put my username. As you can see, this is my username in here. Okay, put your password. 
yes he say okay and as you can see now I establish uh, FileZilla between the server so I can go to a different location uh, let's go somewhere up here uh, where I can go uh, let's go in here uh, let's go to home no I can't go in there why not is uh, downloads in downloads I have a file called packet tracer okay so let's go to this guy the same user on desktop in the desktop as you can see I don't have anything in here beside those two folders so I can transfer those files from A to B you see how fast it transfer and as you can see it's appear right now on the desktop so that's how you run FileZilla as well now when you try to run FileZilla there might be a chance um, to show you that FileZilla uh, failed to load due to some uh, library Canberra or something like that so this is the command you need to run in order to make it run okay so there are two this is for um, 32 bits is another one for 64 bits so that's the command which you need to use only if it says that FileZilla failed to load a module lib canberra gtk module whatsoever sudo advanced packaging tool install this uh, the second part is to make sure um, you are running proper and the firewall works proper or for example the firewall might deny you you need to create some rules for example if i type sudo uncomplicated firewall status is active and i don't have any rules but i can create some rules in here for example i can create sudo ufw allow uh, 20 tcp sudo you uncomplicated firewall allow 21 tcp sudo ufw status as you can see i create two rules which allow file transfer protocol the reason why because ftp in general speaking has two ports one for download one for upload one for control one from for manage in case you want to deny those or delete you can type sudo ufw delete allow 21 20 tcp sudo ufw delete allow 21 tcp sudo uf status as you can see we delete back this now in case you want to uninstall those stuff first of all you need to go to the folders change directory srvftp delete everything from there sudo remove recursive force verbal admin txt sudo remove whatsoever uh, rv whatsoever ls we delete everything change back to root now we change back to root so let's uninstall filezilla sudo app get purge uh, filezilla dash y put the password and let's wait for the filezilla to finish uninstalling and after this we need to run sudo app auto remove as well to remove whatever is left over from the package so let's just wait for this to run sudo apt auto remove dash y yep you want to uninstall everything whatever is left over and in the last part is to uninstall uh, vsftpd sudo app get purge vsftpd dash y okay so it's uninstalling it might take a while based on how fast is your computer all right guys so thank you so much uh so let's check first uh sudo system ctl status vsftpd so as you can see we cannot found so it mean uninstall thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe and like my channel have a wonderful day